Hello guys, Pete here again. Got a little product review for you this time, and if actually you follow me on my Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram, you obviously know that I won this beautiful mat, gaming mat, in a competition run by Leo Disc Games. Uh, basically, the other week, I obviously found out that they, that I was the winner, sorry, that I won the competition in a way. Uh, basically, they had a Facebook competition on their, well, obviously they had a Facebook competition to win a mat, which... I completely forgot about because it, it was about a month ago. Just simply like the post or and share it, obviously, and I won it. Cool thing was, I well, obviously when I say the cool thing is what I mean. Basically, I actually thought it would just be they would randomly pick a mat off their site and it would just be sent out to me. But we had this games obviously private messaged me saying, "Have a look on our site, pick whatever mat you want." obviously, and we'll get sent out to you for your cost as well. So out of all the mats, obviously, this is what stood out to me most, the cobblestone version. I know they had a few, like, guild ball ones, obviously football pitch ideas and that, but I think most of all, this cobblestone one stood out to me more. Uh, just say as well, this is a 3x3 three three mat. Obviously, it's really good quality. You can see, obviously, the whole cobblestone effect. Got one little drain here. Another little drain up there. Uh... They also do 6x4 mats, or they've just recently started doing 6x4 mats, and they look amazing. Honestly, guys, I'll leave a link in the description for their site. You can go have a look for yourself. They're amazingly priced. Obviously, a 3x3 three three is about £20, £22. Obviously, your postage is added on top of that. And obviously, a 6x4 is about £50, which is absolutely damn reasonably good. Sorry to say that, but it is really good for the price and obviously the styles you're getting. So, obviously, I watched their video after I found out on... I uh, watched a video on their channel, obviously, about like, what the mats are like, and that, obviously. And, like I said, it's made with a sort of thick, like a good vinyl. Obviously, it's printed out on a vinyl. And, obviously, when I got this in yesterday, as soon as I touched the back in, I remembered from my old previous job, because I obviously worked with, like, carpets and vinyls and that, we had a vinyl like this. It was an absolute amazing seller, but our carpet fitters absolutely hated it, because it it was annoying to cut into if you cut it wrong you would absolutely snag it and stuff and it was really let's just put it this way they went for more knife blades than actually cutting the vinyl itself so obviously this is the kind of same type of vinyl style it's really hard wearing like I say there's it's really flat really smooth there's no see there's barely any scratching effect it's not like it's slightly raised there's no like grooves and stuff like that and also it's really really lightweight just look at that super lightweight but Leah this games also said in their video Obviously, it'll come rolled, sort of design inwards, but when you do get it, obviously roll, roll it opposite way, reversal, have your design pointing out. And obviously, if you put it back in the tube as well that it comes with, obviously have it pattern outward. Because obviously, I've just taken this out of the tube and it is basically flat straight away. Obviously, maybe just a little pull or that, it just needs. Also, just like with any vinyl, give it a little bit of heat in that from normal room and that, and it will flatten out, obviously. Uh, and also, Good thing is, definitely keep the tube that it comes in, because protecting these mats is top priority. Obviously, they're basically indestructible, like we had this game say. But obviously, you want to keep your mat as good as possible. And obviously, if you do end up throwing the tube away, little little tip for you, go to the carpet shop, ask for like carpet bar tubes. They've always got, I know at my old job, we always had tons of them lying around. So anyway guys, obviously this has just been a little review on it. I will actually turn the camera off just now, get this on a flat surface, as I don't obviously have a table big enough for this. I'll just probably put it on the floor or something and get some of my terrain on it. So I will get back to you guys in just a minute, showing how this mat looks with some terrain on it. Okay guys, got some terrain down on the mat now. Like you can see, obviously I've not got too much down, obviously I've got my Ascalion of Ruins, uh, one well, two wells, and obviously my walls. And obviously for a 3 by 3 board, this actually, sorry, board, I mean mat, obviously, you can fit quite a good bit on it, obviously. I didn't want to, like, cram everything I've basically got on it, I just wanted to do some stuff that looks really nice in that, obviously, because, like you can see, everything just sits nice and flush. Obviously, I know my terrain is completely, like, it's mismatch, mismatch and stuff, obviously, with the type of board, type of mat, sorry. But obviously, I will probably end up making up some some terrain, obviously, to fit in and with it. The good thing as well, the mat is actually quite slidey. 
So it's not the most green, the most models are that, I just lift them and shift them. And obviously everything fits in really, really nicely. And it looks really cool as well. And obviously, another big thing as well, like what people have said as well, the mats are, a bit like, obviously I know they're wooden dice, but they make a noise. That is the good thing about these. The only downside is, obviously the dice might slide, but other than that, it is a really, really good mat. And obviously, like I say guys, I'm going to leave a link in the description for Lee of this game's website. Go pick up one of these mats yourselves, guys. Obviously, they are super quality, super great. And like I say, there's loads more designs now. If you're a Guild Ball player, Malifaux player, or anything, basically, they have a mat to cover that. So anyway, guys, this has been a product review for Lee of this game's games mats. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. If you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button for more videos like this in the future, guys. And I'll see you next time.